welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Thursday, 10th October 2024. Thursday of week 27 in Ordinary Time. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Subscribe to the channel to follow the next Masses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To make ourselves worthy of these mysteries, in the silence of our hearts, let us first recall to mind our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May our merciful God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi You have defied me in word says the Lord yet you ask what have we spoken against you you have said it is vain to serve God and what do we profit by keeping his command and going about in penitential dress in awe of the Lord of hosts? Rather must we call the proud blessed, for indeed evildoers prosper, and even tempt God with impunity. Then they who fear the Lord spoke with one another, and the Lord listened attentively. And the record book was written before him of those who fear the Lord and trust in his name. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, my own special possession on the day I take action. And I will have compassion on them as a man has compassion on his, on his son who serves him. Then you will again see the distinction between the just and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. For lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble. And the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the Son of Justice with its healing race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, 
and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so wicked, not so. They are like chaff with the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. So, Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. And I tell you, ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. If you then are wicked, if you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Sabi ni Pedro, pabili nga po ng ubas, at sabi ni Manong, wala naman kaming ubas. Kinabukasan, bumalik si Pedro at sabi niya, pabili nga po ng ubas, at sabi ni Manong, wala kaming ubas. Kinabukasan uli, sabi ni Pedro, Manong, pabili nga po ng ubas, sabi ng, ni Manong, sinabi ko na nga wala eh. Pag nagtanong ka pa, stapler ko yung bibig mo. At kinabukasan na naman muli, bumalik si Pedro. Manong, may stapler po ba kayo? At sabi ni, ni Manong, wala. At sabi ni Pedro, pabili nga po ng ubas. Paulit-ulit, makulit. Our gospel today is quite fascinating because it presents to us a parable about persistence in prayer, I tell you, the gospel says, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get, get, get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. Paulit ulit, makulit. Well, let us understand that in the context of this parable, the friend in the story is God. That's why the man does not hesitate in waking him up at midnight to ask and borrow some food. Remember that in yesterday's gospel, Jesus finished giving his disciples the Our Father prayer. Remember? And now, he adds another parable as a way of expressing the great confidence and determination we must have with which we must pray the Our Father. And so the parable concludes by stating that even if the person is in bed, does, who is in bed does not get up to meet the request, he will go get up because of his persistence. My dear friends, when we pray to God, especially with persistence, 
God will pour forth upon us everything that is good. Of course, we know that it's it is that if our prayer is something that is selfish and something that is not in accord with the will of God, then all the begging in the world will surely not be effective. But when we pray as we pray the Our Father, as the Lord teaches us, then we can be sure that the prayer we pray with utmost trust and with persistence will effect the good gifts of God. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. My dear friends, as we celebrate this month of the Holy Rosary, let us also recognize that persistence in prayer is also clearly evident in our praying of the Rosary. Many religions use beads to keep track of prayers. For example, Buddhism, Islam, Shinto, and some others. Our Rosary is a circle of beads. It's like a garland offered to our Blessed Mother because we pray each and every bead. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. However repetitive this prayer may be, we put value in praying over and over again because the rosary is a meditation of the biblical events in the life of Jesus himself. It is a form of persistent prayer that we continue to pray. You know, during the height of pandemic, a certain bishop was asked, why do we continue praying the Oratio Imperata on COVID? Wala namang nangyayari. Andyan pa rin ang COVID. In fact, meron pa rin COVID. Last night, I heard that there were around 1,000 cases for the past five, uh, for the past seven weeks, uh, seven, seven days. And to which the good bishop replied that precisely our persistence in prayer, the repetition of our prayers is also our continuous expression of our trust to the providence of God. Wala naman yata ang masamang umulit-ulit ng dasal, hindi po ba? Ang hindi naman yata tama ay yung hindi ka na umuulit ng iyong dasal. Even born-again Christians, for example, they pray the same prayer, they prayed over and over again during their last worship. So there's simply nothing wrong with being makulit. I call this banal na kakulitan or persistence in our prayer. After all, we are certain that God is a friend who hears our prayers and we are His children who must continue trusting in His divine providence. Amen. St. John Bosco. Pray for us. Mary help of Christians. Pray, pray. for us. Christ makes a promise, ask and it will be given to you. Let us come to our Heavenly Father who trusts with trust and confidence. Loving Father, we await all from you. Loving, Loving Father, Father, we, we await, await all, all from, from you. you. That as a church, we may be committed to a sincere and deep life of prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we await all from you. That active people may learn to integrate prayer in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we await all from you. That we may persist in prayer, no matter how discouraged we may be by life's misfortunes. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we await all from you. That the sick may unite their prayers and sacrifices with Christ's suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we await all from you. That the faithful departed may be raised up with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, Father, we, we await, await all, all from, from you. you. All this we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and break of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that these, our offerings and sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. The minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voice as we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us now offer the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and serious illness as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. At this point of the Mass, we shall be praying for peace. And may I invite you in the silence of your hearts to pray for the peace in the world, particularly in Russia and Ukraine, and also in Israel and Palestine. May I ask you in prayerful silence to pray for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
And may our compassionate God bless you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sa Don Bosco Masaya. Sama, sama. Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.